This next segment we're going to see is was done to prove a point. And I want to thank Cheryl Crawford and Doug and Winky Groover for allowing us to put this together because it's a it's very positive about our horse, but it dispels anything about what all has to be done, this, that, and that, all the tales you hear. This right here is going to show a horse from the pasture all the way ready to go to the show. And here we go. Right, we're observing command and control, Fred as we know him, running and playing in the pasture. Uh, Fred's been in the pasture in daytime since coming back from Tunica, Mississippi, his last show November the 12th. He's been out for, out of training a little over a hundred days, uh, a little over, right at three and a half months and you can see he's really enjoyed his off time. Right there you can see a little bit of, of his natural way of going that, that all we do is with the pads and action devices is just enhance his God-given talent. We're carrying him inside now and uh, we're going to put the pain trace machine on him. The pain trace is a machine that that works like an EKG. It does not measure pain itself, but measures the body's response to pain. You stick an electrode on it, each side of his neck, and then you it takes a minute to measure a horse's body's response to pain or any other animal for that matter. Uh, Cheryl acquired this at the Sound Horse Conference in 2009 and has been using it to assure that our horses are not in pain anytime we we go into show. If you look the the reading was 3.1 any positive reading it shows a horse is not in pain. Uh, negative reading, any, anything below zero is shows a pain response. So he he definitely was not in any pain. This is my farrier, Ronnie Hall, who's removing his keg shoes that we placed on him after show season to protect his hoof. Uh, he's now cleaning it out and uh, and trimming the foot and preparing it to put him back on his performance horse shoes. 
Ryan does a great job in taking care of this horse's feet and has been shoeing command and control for about eight years now. And has done a great job at taking care of him. And we've, we've done this with him every year. We've, uh, at the end of horse show season, we pull his, his uh, package off and turn him out and give him a break. And, and I think that's been one of the things that's give him the, a longevity in his career. And this is Ronnie just cleaning the foot and preparing it, trimming it, getting it ready to, to put the shoes back on. This is hydrogen peroxide he's putting in his feet and uh, that just, just cleans out any bacteria and just prepares it for the next step. This is a product called Magic Cushion that we put in his, in his frog area there. This product we found to do a great job at relieving any heat in their feet. We purchased a thermographic camera a few years ago and and there was actually a there was some instances where horses were retaining heat in their feet and we found this product to be great at relieving it. This is another product Ronnie's putting in there is a product called rate hoof packing it is a leather based product that once you put it in it kind of sits up like a almost like a leather pad and is a soft but also firm cushioning product that, and it, it also helps with any heat we've adapted this clearly from the thermographic use of the camera and it's it's worked great all right Ronnie's setting his shoes right now to uh, make sure that he's there in line with his leg and his foot and everything straight he's these nails right here he's driving in just to hold the foot pad on the next step, he'll pull this up. He'll pop the build up, the all the pads off, and now everything's lined up. He uses those nails right there to keep everything in line. Now he'll nail on the foot pad. For any of those who've never seen this before, this is nailed on just like a regular keg shoe flat shoe he puts about five nails on each side there again similar to a regular horseshoe and then this the package will be nailed on to this plastic pad there again Ronnie is uh, has just done a fabulous job if you'll notice the, the horse right now he's not he's just cutting off his nails horse has not moved a muscle very comfortable and uh, just I can't I can't say enough about Ronnie's care for this horse and how much he's helped his career All right, he's fixing to cut his nails off here and clench him. There's one that didn't quite suit him where it was coming out in the foot, so he's going to replace it. If you'll notice, he's just not banging the nails in there. He's feeling to make sure that that horse is in a that all the nails are in a good spot. There's a good look at the shoe with the rubber across the bottom of his foot. Now this is the way this is put on. Those, he's taking regular, like number eight nails, 
and driving them down through the foot pad, the, the pad that was actually attached to his foot. And that holds the, the pads on the bottom there. Then it will be secured by a band that will be applied after this. Now, command and control has been through this procedure for always had an off season vacation every year since his two year old year. Here's the metal band I was telling about. Driven into the pads, not to not the hoof. You'll notice a a bolt that is there to be tightened and loosened we we uh, secure the bolt just for just to help hold everything on when we work him and then uh, the bolt is loosened back off so there's no there's no pressure on his foot for essentially 23 and a half hours a day or a little more we probably work him 20 minutes a day But if you'll notice, this horse has never moved a muscle. He's been very comfortable. Now this is the same procedure with the other foot. Here goes the hoof packing. These two products together, I just can't say enough about. We've had absolutely no hoof trouble since we went to these, using these products right here. We've had no, no quarter cracks, no just I mean, they've, they've really helped our, our horses' hooves, and we, we put this in every, every horse that we shoe, and, it, and it's just a, works great. This is just a piece of paper that is put in there just to kind of hold the hoof packing in place. Now Ryan's measuring the length. He, he takes that instrument and measures from the hair, actual horse's hairline to the ground and then takes and uses that as a guide to, to ensure that both shoes are shod exactly the same. You'll see it, it matches up right there. If you'll notice this horse's pastern area, it's pristine. This horse has been very well taken care of, had a long show career and is just in super condition. He's 11 years old and has been, I know one year we showed him 19 times, including I think four times at the celebration that year. He's been a high point winner the last two years and along with the world grand champion. Once again, Ronnie nailing on the, the foot pad, pad that goes to his foot and just like a horseshoe that is, is nailed on any other horse. And then everything else is attached to, to that, that one pad. We, we radiographed him yesterday 
to make sure that everything was in good shape before we started him back and got a good clean report. We uh, thermographed him, which he actually showed just a little bit of heat back in his heels, of which this, the hoof packing actually ought to take care of that. This is Ronnie just kind of rasping up and cleaning everything up, smoothing it up where there's no sharp edges. Nailing the band on, we're about ready to ride. Once again, I'd like to point out how this horse is not moved. He's very comfortable in getting his shoes back on, very confident in the man putting them on, that he's not going to do anything to hurt him. Now you'll notice a, some black paint on those pads as when we get ready to go to the horse show, we doll them up, paint them up, and get him ready to go. Now here he comes out of the cross tie. You can see he's still leading very free, very comfortable. You know, that's straight from the pasture to the get ready to ride. Here we are saddled up. About ready to go. We're placing a six ounce action device on him right now. And he's ready for his first ride and here we are adjusting the bands. Just, just snugging them up. And he's ready to ride. If you'll notice, we're leading him out. He's got a six ounce chain on, leading very freely. And the rest I want to watch and enjoy.
you enjoyed that. He uh, he did a great job for his first riding in three and a half months. One thing I would like for you to notice and is how comfortable this horse is and watch him as he leads out. Still with a six ounce action device on, you know, still leading very comfortable, very free. Just a, a truly great athlete and a joy to work with. This right here is all documented, mm -hmm. time coded, even down to the embedded time codes to make sure that it was one step right after the other. And I have uh, gave the tapes to Winky and Cheryl putting them in a safety deposit box to make sure that they are not tampered with because those time codes prove that this horse came from, from the field and got shot and went straight into the ring and mm -hmm. showed. Okay. Yeah, that ought to dispel a lot of people's uh, insinuations because that's all they are. And uh, this this horse, they take the shoes off of him in the winter time or in the off season and just put him in the pasture. They've huh? done it all. Sh Cheryl Crawford is a, a is a a very elite type person. She pain traces her horses. She checks her horses. Uh, she she really watches after him and takes care of him. Mm -hmm. And Winky does a fantastic job out there. <laughs>